The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has just unveiled plans for its biggest construction project ever. Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we bring you possibly the biggest construction project in the world for which work has begun. Stick around to know all about Saudi's Mirror Line. The line is planned to be the first development in NEOM, a $500 billion to $1 trillion project. It will be 500 meters tall and have a mirrored facade. It will supposedly extrude twinned 150-story buildings 100 miles across the desert, with less than the distance between two New York City avenues separating them, and plant a city for 9 million in the slot thus created. Excavation work had started along the entire length of the project by October 2022. NEOM is the actual program under which the line is just one of the projects. It aims to be the future of livability as its foundation is unprecedented in scope. The name NEOM is derived from two words. The first three letters are from the ancient Greek prefix NEO, meaning new. The fourth letter is from the abbreviation of Mostakbal, an Arabic word meaning future. According to them, it will adopt environmental responsibility principles that promote sustainable and regenerative development practices. NEOM will be a hub for innovation, where established global businesses and emerging players can research, incubate and commercialize groundbreaking technologies to accelerate human progress. Benefits. The Prince's stated motivations for this project also invite deeper consideration. It is indeed a challenge to plan a better future for a country where some 65% of citizens are under 35. Moreover, moving Saudi Arabia away from an oil-based economy toward a greener future with a huge reduction in human environmental impact would have clear benefits for international politics. No roads, cars or emissions and 95% of the land will be preserved for nature. People's health and well-being will be prioritised over transportation and infrastructure, unlike traditional cities. This city will be free of streets, automobiles and greenhouse gas emissions and will rely 100% on renewable resources. That will surely be a dream come true for most of the world. But the dream comes at a cost, a twofold cost. The first aspect involves putting not merely your feelings but everything you know about the climate crisis well to one side. NEOM is being planned at a time when wet bulb temperatures in the Arabian desert already exceed 20 degrees Celsius across half the year and are projected to spike sharply higher by the end of the century. The second is more serious still. It involves the fate of the Huaytat tribes people, forcibly displaced from Tabuk province to make way for the coming of NEOM. In April 2020, Saudi security forces reportedly killed a man in his home after he protested the clearance of communities inconvenient to the government's plans. Problems. The megacity is part of the controversial NEOM project that will see 10 regions developed in the northwest of the country. Will NEOM be the first step towards the country's liberalization, or is the city merely another prestige project by a rich oil state in the Middle East? These liberal goals are increasingly shaky in the light of the country's massive carbon footprint and the continuous human rights violations in the kingdom. So whether NEOM is the first domino to fall in a chain reaction towards a liberalized Saudi Arabia is doubtful. Financial challenges are the biggest obstacle for the mega projects like NEOM and The Line. Research shows that Saudi Arabia has not been able to achieve much success in attracting financial resources and investment from foreign governments and companies. Because the NEOM project is an attempt to move the world from the era of the smart city to the age of the cognitive city, it requires overcoming the challenges of technology that Saudi Arabia cannot overcome alone. Saudi Arabia has had a bad time with mega projects in the past. We have seen grandiose urban planning come and go before. So what is the history lesson in the line project? Saudi Arabia was also part of that mid-2000s wave boasting of King Abdullah Economic City, KAEC, a project the size of Washington, D.C. KAEC was promoted as an eco-conscious development, but planners failed to account not only for building, but also connectivity costs. Another example is the Jeddah Tower, supposedly the tallest skyscraper in the world stalled by Saudi political intrigue and COVID shutdowns. Only a third of the tower has been built and there are currently no plans to restart construction. 
No one knows whether Saudi Arabia can actualize Neom or not. The kingdom's futuristic 170-kilometer smart linear city promises to revolutionize living. But beyond the awe factor are significant challenges and criticisms that could threaten the success of the mega project and the entire Vision 2030. The line and Neom could prove a success for the kingdom, attracting global investors and capturing the attention of the international community with MBS's ambitious developments. However, to do so, it will have to overcome both internal and external challenges around financial and technical feasibility and define its role in a changing Saudi Arabia. What do you think? Will the line ever be completed? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, you know what to do. We'll see you in the next one.